Well, Nebraska's educational leaders start unpacking just how the pandemic affected local students. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. For the first time, the Nebraska Board of Education released key findings about student performance, showing declines in language arts and math, adding tens of thousands of students missed class. KTV News Watch Evans' Alex McLoon explains achievement gaps the state says it needs to focus on. Alex? In a presentation called Restoring Normal, officials say 77,000 students were chronically absent in 2021 to 2022. And then less than half of the state's students were proficient in language arts and math. Education officials say these key findings will prioritize how they invest in restoring and improving student education. We saw a lot of education gaps for students based on race, ethnicity, poverty, uh, special education on English learners. Nebraska's outgoing education commissioner and state senators from the Metro walked us through statewide assessments. Key findings from the Nebraska Student Centered Assessment System found 66% of students were proficient in science, but only 47% were proficient in English Language Arts, or ELA, and only 46% were proficient in math. We did see a decrease in the overall number of percent of proficient students in, in both those. Education leaders say Nebraska needs to focus on these achievement gaps, starting with English learners. They saw the greatest declines in assessment results. Only 5% of the student group was proficient in ELA and only 8% proficient in math. For students with disabilities, 19% were proficient in ELA and only 18% proficient in math. And for students economically disadvantaged, 30% proficiency in ELA, 27% proficient in math. The commissioner says metrics will help education officials improve schools. We expected to see a dip in, in scores. State Senator Lynn Walls chairs the legislature's education committee. She wants community organizations to work with schools to address chronic absenteeism. Another key investment that we need to look at is uh, early childhood education and making investments in early uh, childhood literacy. Senator Lou Ann Linehan is the legislature's revenue chair. She says Nebraska needs to invest in teachers' ability to teach early literacy. We need to help teachers know it's there and help them understand it and help them ex assess it. The department says they need to invest by doing things like addressing the educator shortage and finding ways to reduce chronic absenteeism. Julie, education leaders say they want to reach a 70% attainment goal, making sure most graduates go on to be successful adults. Back to you.